In the days before battery power became a thing, tractors were started by hand and run on kerosene. Almost a century on, and these modern sophisticated machines producing the world's food are still burning fossil fuels. And I can see the oil industry being around well, well out of my life and, and probably at least another 20 to 40 years. Manufacturers are developing smaller electrified tractors, but in the wheat belt where machines need to run day and night during seeding and harvest, battery power is not yet seen as a workable alternative. You know, you hear them talk about electrics, well, cars are going electric, so maybe our stuff will be driven electrically. But then when you ask about the challenge of charging in remote areas, that's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Last year, Australia burnt more than 25 billion litres of diesel, and it's increasing. The next 20 years, I can't see how we go to batteries and make it work. We're not non-believers. We all want clean energy. We want to go forward. With miners looking at hydrogen as a possible solution, agriculture could be next to adopt the technology. The big challenge for hydrogen is storage and transportability. Once that can be satisfied, I think uh, that's obviously an option. What about biofuels? We've been there and we've done that. The switch to alternatives will happen when the business case adds up. Farmers are very progressive sort of people, especially in the area we're in, so I'm sure once you know the technology is available, it will be you know quite well used if there's efficiencies and things to be gained out of it. A solution for the next generation of farmers to find. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Newdigate.